Good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So I am just going to do a video to show you guys what I um, am going to be having in the morning to keep the pounds off. Um, because a lot of times, we, you know, we talk about losing weight, um, but we don't often think about what needs to be done after we lose the pounds. So, I mean, in all honesty, I um, am trying to lose a few pounds, but I get so tired of saying it because all the feedback I get is you don't need to lose anything, but we all know how we feel, um, you know, in our own bodies. And I just know that for myself, I would like to lose, or I, I want to lose, um, about 10 pounds. And I can honestly say that this go around, because you know, you get so sick of starting over and over and over. And this time I'm going to do this. And this time I'm going to do that. So I decided that wh what's really funny is that I can tell other people what to do and how to do it better than I can really do it for myself. And I can help someone else through it. I can coach somebody else through losing weight better than I can coach myself through losing weight. Because it's all about the discipline. I'm dedicated to other people, man. But when it comes to being dedicated to myself, whew, that's a different story. And I think that's, you know, us in uh, more than just me is what I'm saying in a lot of our lives. So what I did was I told my husband because you know we're very honest with, you, with each other when it comes to weight and pounds and it's not out of a um it's out of love to be honest with you because if I see my husband gaining a few pounds I see more than just the weight coming on I see possible health problems you know that can be avoided um things like that so I tell him you know I'll say babe um <laughs> I think that you are picking up a few pounds and, you know, do you know how to get there? Do you, what do you need to do to stop it? Because we don't need no diabetes and, you know, uncontrollable high blood pressure and stuff like that. Even though sometimes those things are hereditary and you really, there's not a whole lot you can do, but you can still, to the best of your ability, you can still um, do what you need to do. So, I'm going to show you right now what I'm getting ready to put in here. This is Super Greens, um, and this has a ton of vegetables and um, probiotics and fruits in it. And it's, it's good for a powder. Um, this has 40 calories per serving, which is one scoop. This is the size of the scoop. Um... This has 200 milligrams of potassium. Um, it only has one gram of sugar, 20 milligrams of calcium, um, and it's considered an organic super food blend. Um, and this has oat fiber, cocoa grass, wheat grass, barley grass, alfalfa leaf, flax seeds, spinach, parsley, sp spirulina, chlorella, aloe vera, inner leaf, um, broccoli, kale, and green cabbage. And then for the fruits and vegetables, it has beet, red raspberry, cranberry, strawberry, blackberry, blueberry, pomegranate, carrot, cherry, acerola, apple, banana, flax, mango, papaya, pear, pineapple, tomato, peach, acai, I think it's acai, acai, whatever, watermelon. Um, and then it goes on to list all the probiotic and fiber blends, green pea, fiber, fiber gum, blue agave, inulin, Jerusalem artichoke inulin, apple pectin. I mean, it all sounds good to me. So we're going to go with it. And I, I'm just going to do a review for you while I'm doing this. Um, also, I want to get back to what I was telling you about my husband. So, you know, he was picking up um, a couple of pounds. I have also already put a banana in here. Okay, so I have one regular size banana. Um, one scoop of powder, and I was thinking about doing, you know what I don't have though, guys, is, I don't have, bear with me, I don't have any, I have milk. 
milk, but I normally like to do something like coconut milk or something because, um, I don't know, I'm just trying to keep this as healthy as possible. But I guess for this morning, I'll just do this. This is 1% low-fat milk. So I'm going to have to use this this morning because I don't have anything else. And this is what I'm having for my breakfast. So I'm going to do one cup of milk. I have a banana in here, one scoop of powder. And I was going to do some spinach. And I think I'm going to do spinach because I have spinach in here that I need to use. Um, so I am going to... Take my handful of spinach, even though I already have a ton of good stuff in it. Um, like I said, you know, are you like me when you buy produce and then you don't use it like you need to use it and then it ends up going bad? I'm not going to let that happen this time. So I've just got a handful of spinach that I've just rinsed off. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put that in there. Um, but anyway, back to my husband. I'm trying to show you guys what's in here and at the same time tell you what I told him. And so, so I'm picking up a few pounds. That's the babe. Why don't we, you know, I always go with we. Why don't we, um, go on a lean cuisine diet? Why don't we try it and see what happens? Buy nothing but lean cuisines and just eat those and just see what happens. I'm going to get some ice. And so, I bought the Lean Cuisines, and, you know, it was honestly my intention to really do it with him. But I'm, I'm telling you, me and portion control, it's a hard thing to do. It's just a hard thing to do. So, he went with it. He started with it. He loved the Lean Cuisine meals, and the next thing I knew, he was dropping pounds. I mean, like, within a week. He has started dropping pounds. And I was like, damn. I mean, to the point where I was like, I got a new man. You know, like he had lost, I don't know, probably about seven or eight pounds. And I don't know exactly because we didn't weigh or he didn't weigh himself before he started it. But y'all, I'm telling you, it's working. So me telling him what to do, he did it. I fell off the bandwagon, and he's still doing it, and um, it's crazy because now he's motivating me, and it's nothing more than portion control is all that we're all that we're doing. You know, now it's back. To, we're back together. We're doing it. I'm doing it with him um, with portion control. I'm gonna blend this up. <laughs> creamy goodness now this is not blended that well because it's probably it's too thick I can tell that it's too thick so I am going to add well, it really doesn't look that thick let me see if I can just stir it because we all want it too thin and you don't want to add you know too much stuff to it but let's see really good. Look, I am not even, not even exaggerating to you. This tastes really good. I'm going to add a, like a half a cup of milk. Just a half a cup of milk. So that's a cup and a half of milk that I've added just to my, for my liking. Um, and I'm going to add a couple more pieces of ice. And I don't want to overdo this because it will spill out. Anybody who has a Nutribullet knows if it gets too full, it will spill out. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm going to run in here. I'm going to get my cup, and I'll be right back. So I'm back. So I have my special cup that I like to put my smoothies and things in because it just makes me feel like I have gone to like Starbucks or somewhere like that tropical smoothie cafe and done something really special. And I did it right here in my own kitchen. Um, so again, this is really good. It tastes like a banana because you can really taste the banana in it. it. Tastes like a chocolate banana smoothie is the best way that I can describe it. It's delicious. I am not even lying to you. This is really, really, really good. So, this is going to be my breakfast for the morning um yeah and then for lunch I may do a video and show you what I'm having for lunch I think for lunch I'm going to do a salad so watch this get oh, you can't really see it let me see if I can yeah here we go I want you to see the consistency of it it's thick but I like it thick because it's going to fill me up. And this, it's actually, it's right much left in here. Um, so yeah, so that's it. I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, if you have any questions, um, please leave me questions. If you have any suggestions, if you have any ideas on videos that you want me to do, please leave me some comments below so we can get this thing rolling and so that I can help motivate you guys as well okay um don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for everyone who has subscribed to my channel I love each and every one of you and I mean that from the bottom of my heart because doing this doing videos is something that's very near and dear to my heart um I'll have to tell you why on a, in another video. Um, but anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, I love you guys. Be good.